Good morning and welcome to St. Matthew's on this Friday, the 18th day of December. Today we are going to look at the life of Lillian Trasher, who we'll learn more about during the service. Morning Prayer Rite 1 begins on page 42 of the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with the invitatory psalm this morning. We will read together the Jubilate. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. We continue with the gospel assigned for today. It comes to us from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, beginning at the first verse. Jesus said to his disciples, Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to anyone by whom they come. It would be better for you if a millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea than for you to cause any one of these little ones to stumble. Be on your guard. If another disciple sins, you must rebuke the offender and if there is repentance, you must forgive. And if the same person sins against you seven times a day and turns back to you seven times and says, I repent, you must forgive. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to, to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would abate. The word of the Lord. We continue with Canticle 18, a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. We continue to learn a little bit more about Lillian Thrasher. Lillian Hunt Thrasher was born in the year 1887 in Brunswick, Georgia. As a young woman, she worked at an orphanage in North Carolina not knowing at the time that her life's work would be devoted to caring for abandoned children. In the year 1909, while engaged to a man she loved deeply, she heard the testimony of a missionary from India, and she was aware at that moment that she could not be married. God had called her to service as a missionary. Not knowing where she would go, she opened her Bible and read Acts 7, 34. I have seen, I have seen the affliction of my people which is in Egypt, and I have heard their groaning, and am come down to deliver them. And now come, I will send thee to Egypt. In the year 1910, she arrived in Alexandria, Egypt with her sister Jenny, and they found their way to the village of Asia near the Nile. Shortly after arriving, Lillian was called to the bedside of a dying mother whose malnourished daughter was also near death. Though ordered by the mission directors to return the child to the village, Lillian refused to abandon to her poverty and her to poverty and certain death. In the year 1911, she rented a small house and some furniture and nursed the child back to health. As she took in additional children, she had to rely on charity though she eventually received aid from the newly formed Assemblies of God in the United States. In the year 1916, she was able to purchase additional land, the buildings for which were built from bricks, which Lillian and the other children made themselves. In the year 1919, she was ordered out of the country by the British government in the midst of political turmoil. 
And when she returned, she took in widows and the blind in addition to children. Despite the Nazi invasion of Egypt and the subsequent violence during World War II, she kept her orphanage running. When she died in the year 1961, she had become known as the mother of the Nile and had cared for nearly 25,000 Egyptian children. Her orphanage remains open today. Wow, that's the life of Lillian Thrasher. Together we affirm our faith, reading together the Nicene, the Apostles' Creed, sorry. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. We begin with the Lord's Prayer, followed by suffrages B. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. God safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. We continue with the colics, beginning with the colic for Lillian Thrasher. O God, whose everlasting arms support the universe, we offer thanks for moving the heart of Lillian Thrasher to heroic hospitality on behalf of orphaned children in great need. And we pray that we also may find our hearts awakened and our compassion stirred to care for thy little ones through the example of our Savior Jesus Christ, and by the energy of thy Holy Spirit, who broodeth over the world as a mother over her children, for they live and reign with thee, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We continue with the Collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who did stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace, so clothe us in thy spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, for the honor of thy name. Amen. I invite your prayers and thanksgivings this day. We pray for all those in our church family and in our school. We pray especially for the school search process, looking for a new head of school, for their meetings and deliberations. We pray for all of those who are affected by the coronavirus. We pray for healing and recovery. We pray for a safe and effective distribution of a vaccine. And we give thanks for those who have been on the front line offering care and first responders. We pray for all those who are connected to our lives. 
for our prayers for our country and for the world. Take a moment to pray those things that might be especially on our heart this day. Gracious God, for all our prayers spoken and those that reside deep in our heart, we lift them up to you this day. Amen. We conclude our prayers by saying together the a prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the fellowship of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining Morning Prayer today. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday for worship and again for morning prayer next week. God bless.